<coughs> what the hell? Open a window, will you? <coughs> How long was I asleep? I don't know. I didn't know you wanted me to time it. Hey, look at this. We're off the freeway. Are we almost there? I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? What did the directions say? They're gone. I threw them out the window. <laughs> you threw them out the... You threw them out the window. What the hell made you do a stupid thing like that? Well, I had them on my lap so I could read them. I lit my cigar, the hot ashes fell on my crotch, the map caught fire. I had the choice of either finding the house or burning up one of the most important parts of my body. Guess which I picked? Unbelievable. So you just picked any exit and got off? Well, I had to get off someplace, didn't I? Yeah, well, this isn't someplace. This is no place. Pull over. I'll get the directions out of my suitcase. Where's my suitcase? Your suitcase? In yeah. the trunk? No. No? No. Did you look good? The trunk is about this big, right? It takes a second and a half to look in there. Your 1927 piece of cardboard is there, but my suitcase isn't. What are you talking about? It's got to be in there. Let me look at it. Oscar. I'm going to try to stay very calm while I say the next sentence. If it isn't in there, where in the hell is my goddamn suitcase? This is just a wild guess. I'd say it was standing in front of the budget rent -a car office. In Los Angeles? That's a good guess, too. Oh, God almighty. What the... Well, we're going to go back and get it. Go back? It took us two hours to get here. It's going to take us another five hours to go back because I don't know how the hell we got here in the first place. And then we'd have to make three stops, one for you to pee, one for you to get locked in the john, one for you to pay a kid five dollars to get out, and then we'd have to stop again for you to eat. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh. So what'd you have in there? An ironing board, some spot remover? I'll pay you back. In that suitcase was my black formal afternoon suit that I bought to wear when I'm giving my daughter away in marriage. And in that suitcase was a $6,000 Tiffany silver tray, which I bought as a wedding present. Oh, and in that suitcase was $10,000 in cash, which I intended to give to my son-in-law on his wedding day. Now. In your suitcase, the police are going to find your broken, smashed, mutilated, and dissected body in the event that you don't go back and find my fucking suitcase. Why don't we call Budget and ask him to deliver? Deliver? Deliver where? You've already crisscrossed California more than the covered wagons did a hundred years ago. What the hell are we going to tell him? Follow the burned pieces of directions on the freeway? All right. We'll drive to the first town we see. And then we'll call budget. G I guarantee you. That was my best leather suitcase. Now, how long do you think it's going to stand on the sidewalk unclaimed, huh? Somebody's going to be eating a pepperoni pizza tonight on my daughter's silver Tiffany tray. OK, come on back in the car. If it's still there, they have new things today that'll get them to you fast, like Federal Express, UPS. And uh, fax. Oh, you're going to fax my suitcase to me. I can wear a picture of my black wedding suit, huh? You take it easy. And paper copies of $10,000 cash. Would you stop it? Don't get fiscal with me, Felix. I'm too old to hit, but I could spit you to death. Get in the car. I want to know one thing. Why, when you get around me, you start to behave like a goddamn imbecilic, idiotic, totally moronic shithead. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Wait, 
didn't you put the brakes on? Why? I didn't know you were gonna punch it. Well, we better call Budget and have him fax us another car, huh?